Welcome to IED 336, Technology Innovation in Indigenous Education. And my name's Rich McHugh, and I'm going to be leading the course this semester. I'm a fourth generation settler, with my ancestors originally coming from Ireland and England. My family mainly settled in the traditional territories of the Cree people near the Rocky Mountains, and my parents moved to the traditional territories of the Songhees people just before I was born. Over my life, I've lived on the territories of the Songhees, Cree, and Guarani in what is known, now known as Southern Brazil. I grew up with two sisters and four brothers, and my partner and I raised our two daughters and three sons on Songhees territory uh, near Uvic. I acknowledge and respect the Songhees, Esquimalt, Wasanich peoples on whose traditional territory I'm grateful to live, work, and play. Here's just a quick outline of what we're going to cover today. I won't read it, but you can see what is on the agenda. And before we get started, I just want to check in with everyone to see how you're doing. If you're watching this video, just maybe take a deep breath. And then during class time, I'll give you a, a link to a, a small anonymous survey so you can check in and let me know how you're doing. Let me know what things have worked well for you in class, what maybe hasn't worked so well. And you can also provide me with suggestions, which is really, really helpful for me. In terms of the learning objectives for today, this is what we're going to cover. Um, but before we get into uh, ed tech. Just wanted to give you a little bit more background about me. I'm currently a sessional lecturer here in the Faculty of Education and Indigenous Education. I manage the Digital Scholarship Commons in the main library, and it's a type of makerspace. We're located on the third floor in the new part of the library, and we offer a range of free, non-credit introductory workshops on technologies as diverse as 3D printing, websites with WordPress, video editing, electronics, data analysis with Excel, interactive storytelling, virtual reality, and more. And we also loan most of the equipment that we teach people how to use. I'm also the father of five wonderful children. This picture was taken a few years ago, but is a great metaphor for what our family was like uh, for many years when all of our children were at home. Here's what they look like. A couple of years ago, they're now aged 18 to 26. And my partner and I homeschooled three of our children on and off over the years. And we homeschooled all of our children for a four-month family trip to Brazil when they were younger. I've also coached youth soccer for over 14 years with both boys and girls team from ages 9 to 18 years old. Now, my goal for this course is to help you create a foundation for using technology in your teaching and learning practice, as well as, and almost more importantly, creating a critical lens to help you determine if technology would be appropriate in a ra range of learning environments you might find yourself in, and to also help you develop a personal learning network to support your ongoing professional development as a as a learner here at the university, as well as when you get into practice, of course, and start teaching, uh, teaching your own learners. As part of this class, we'll learn to use a range of educational technologies. And I don't expect that you'll use every one of the tools that we'll cover, but I hope that you'll find a few useful enough to put into your tool belt to help, you in the f to help your future students achieve some of the learning outcomes in your classes. I also hope that down the road, if you find yourself in a situation where one of the tools might be helpful, you can come back and refresh your skills and then put that tool to work for your learners. Lastly, I hope that you can further develop the ability to critically evaluate new educational technologies that will come across your desk in the future. So that when ed tech salespeople point out all the shiny new features in their products, you'll be able to critically evaluate those tools and make sure that they're pedagogically appropriate, cost-effective, time-effective, and have appropriate privacy protections built into them uh, before you uh, consider uh, using them with your, your learners. And in a couple of minutes, we'll talk about the great educational technology debate. 